getting right into some more Clone Wars love. And ladies and gentlemen, to start off the month of June, and I have a really good feeling that we're going to be getting some Clone Trooper love and reworks probably very soon. But in the meantime, something I was hoping for, a lot of you guys were hoping for, Shock T is coming to Galaxy of Heroes quite soon, it seems. And even if no Clone Trooper reworks are happening, Shock T is going to bring some necessary love for those beloved Clone Troopers. Oh, Shock T is one of my favorite characters from, from the Clone Wars era. And uh, I, from just looking at the kit briefly, it looks like she's really just meant for Clone Trooper synergy and uh, the best Clone Trooper lead that we have in the game right now. I would suspect these other clones that they pointed out here, such as Cody Fives, e Echo, and Rex, will also get in, uh, be getting some love lately. But man, she is definitely meant to supercharge the Clone Trooper faction. And I don't know if she's quite meant to be fitting in the picture with Padme Amidala. I think Padme is supposed to be her own thing. And Shock T is all about just Clone Trooper love. And man, give it to me because I look at my look at my Clone Trooper roster. My Clone Troopers are ready to go. And one of the biggest problems of Clone Troopers is that they are super frail. Like we're talking super, super frail, which makes me think they got to rework them just so they at least are more durable. A lot of things they were doing with Shock T is to give buffs and extra speed and whatnot. So let's kind of hop in here and talk a bit more in depth about what she's going to offer. But overall, Clone Trooper love, one of my top five things I've been wanting in the game. And this is close to Clone Trooper reworks, but hopefully we actually get over that threshold and get an actual Clone Trooper rework. So here we go. Shock T is going to be an inspiring Jedi with heightened reflexes. The basic is called Courageous Strike. This spell all debuffs on a target enemy, so buff the spell on a basic is always very powerful. Kind of like Darth Nihilus, uh, Sun Fack, and whatnot. Deal physical damage to them and grant offense up for one turn to all allies who didn't already have it. So this is going to help. Assuming, let's just assume... No clone rework is happening. Clones hit like wet noodles. They hit like absolute wet noodles, but giving them offense up is going to help juice out their damage. And there's other stuff going on in her kit that should help the clones get out more damage uh, than they already can do. It's looking pretty good right there. You need to buff the spell, especially to get around taunts and whatnot, because Echo is really the only buff the speller for clones right now. So having a buff the spell on the basic should help them out uh, quite greatly. So the next thing we have is the special cooldown of three assault team. And this looks like so much fun. Uh, to just watch. I could watch this animation over and over again, just watching all the clones assist. This is basically kind of like Commander Cody, so two assists that they're going to have. Clone uh, Commander Cody has a, a mass assist ability, and Shock T does as well. So this is the spell all debuffs on all allies, allies. so a, a full cleanse right there. And again, you're seeing we have a lot of twos. We have one mass assist ability, or two mass assist abilities, uh, Cody, Shock T, two cleansers. We have Captain Rex, as well as Shock T. You call all clone trooper allies to assist, and if target clone is is a, and if the target ally is a clone trooper, they gain 100% turn meter. So it's not a turn meter swap like Grand Admiral Thrawn. It's just go give them to 100% turn meter, and they get to go and do a turn right away. And if the target ally gain and the target ally gains buffs for three turns based on their rolls, attacker will get stealth and critical chance up. Spe stealth, as we're kind of seeing, as I'm noticing, especially when playing around with Count Dooku, really important for stealth so you can stop get, getting getting in trouble with all these counterattacks teams. If you're under stealth, they won't counterattack you. Critical chance up should help you try to get some more critical hits out there. Support and healer, speed up and tenacity up, and then tank, you're going to get taunt and critical hit immunity. So your boy Fives right over here, he's going to be a taunting tank for your clone trooper team. He's already kind of a taunting tank when he's under General Kenobi, but this looks like it'll be a lot more frequent. And Shock T, depending on what she needs in battle, she'll call that particular clone trooper to step up to the moment, serve her, serve the army well, and uh, get a buff of some sort to help out the team. Training exercises, cooldown of three. Again, the animations on this character are just absolutely fantastic. And the clone troopers, if you recall, last October, I want to believe, or November, that's when they got all these animations and artwork changes. So hopefully that was just kind of preparing in advance for a clone trooper rework of sort. Call target other ally to assist, and if they are a clone trooper, they attack again. Shock T and target ally recover 35% health and protection. So we were hoping we were gonna get some sort of clone healer, a healer of some sort, such as Kit. I think that was one of the most popular uh, clone healers a lot of people were citing. Shock T right now, she has an ability to help recover health and protection. So not sure if they're gonna ever introduce a, a clone healer, but at least Shock T is addressing another thing that the clones are lacking, and they never had a healer to try to survive as long 
as possible. So she's addressing getting taunting tanks. She's addressing trying to help the attacker survive as long as possible. She's giving health and protection. She has another mass assist. She has a cleanse. A lot of things right here. And if the target ally is a clone trooper, they will gain 25% critical damage. And here's what I'm talking about. Kind of pair this up with the offense up on the basic. 25% critical offense. Max stack of fives until the end of the battle. And if the target ally is a Galactic Republic Jedi, so a little bit of Galactic Republic Jedi love here, they gain 25% tenacity. Max of five stacks until the end of the battle. So I want to see how this is translated i mean right now in their current state they hit very they hit like very bad very badly their hits are just so poor but when you pair offense up with potentially 125 percent critical damage that might be able to help them out a bit more and imagine all the mass assist that both clone trooper or, uh, commander cody as well as shock t can call this could be pretty deadly this could be pretty deadly i'm not sure if right now uh, they're gonna be anything meta related but probably for a grand arena championships as well as uh, the territory battles, this is probably going to be invaluable. And here's our leader ability, which makes me think they're not going to be meta for, for arena and whatnot, but a ton of fun for Grand Arena and ter ter uh, territory battles. It's, it requires a Zatum. Unity wins war. Clone trooper allies have uh, plus 35 speed, big chunk of speed. Another thing, they're very slow. Clones are very, very slow. Clone trooper allies recover 5% health and protection when they attack out of turn. So uh, we have a protection regeneration and health regeneration. Uh, leadership kind of reminds me of uh, Commander Cody a little bit. And at the start of the battle, Galactic Republic allies have plus 50% max health, 5% max protection, and plus 50% offense for each clone trooper ally. This really reminds me of uh, the territory uh, war bonuses that clone troopers would get because clones, they, these are all areas. They need to be fixed in health, protection, and extra offense. So we're getting plus 50% offense for each clone trooper ally. So right there, I I, <laughs> I know I messed up the math a little bit with new gun raise extortion, but 15 times 5 is 75. So 75% offense. Then we're going to get potentially 125% critical damage, and they're going to get offense up for one turn through Shock T's basic. So there's a possibility... Whew, man, if they get reworked, this could get really, really good for clone troopers. But even right now, it, they're going to be much more formidable than they ever were before. And then lastly, we get to, to the unique ability, Heightened Reflexes. Has a Zeta as well, double Zeta character. Whenever Shock T or a clone trooper ally takes damage from an attack, Shock T gains 20% turn meter. Nice big chunk of turn meter right there. I know the developers are trying to steer away from turn meter gain, it seems. Uh, but maybe it's for these non-meta things. They're not as concerned about turn meter. So 20% turn meter be, by being hit, she can take a lot of turns and try to call her troopers in the battle, make sure they stand up and uh, keep fighting. So uh, definitely a very solid leader, right? A uh, very solid character for them. And whenever Shock T or a clone trooper ally takes damage from an attack, they gain retribution for two turns at the end of that turn. So here we go. Retribution, healing, a lot of offense, a uh, lot of uh, offense increases, critical damage, a lot more durable than ever before. Retribution. So imagine if they have all those stacks, they get 125% critical damage, uh, all that extra offense, offense up, and they have retribution. It might be really scary to hit these clone troopers. Man, this looks like a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get my hands in it, and I'm glad I got my clone troopers at gear 12 to make some sort of use out of these guys because really they're not that useful uh, and I'm glad that we finally have a character that's going to help them go to the next level. So they're saying try to give critical avoidance to fives to make him stronger as a tank when he is when he is forced to taunt from Shock T's assault team ability. So I, he's already he has some of the highest defense in this game if I can recall the stats correctly. So having him with high defense, critical avoidance, he might be a very annoying tank that Shock T keeps having taunt for the team. I remember if there's ever a chance he gets buff immunity on him and whatnot, Shock T can cleanse the team and make sure fives is ready again to taunt and kind of get in the way of the of the opposing team. So with their closing thoughts, Shock T is designed to bolster your clone trooper team, improving their viability in Grand Arena and Territory War. She's also a very fun character to play with ta uh, with tactically with several uh, abilities that call assist and some interesting choices to choose which role based effect to utilize in the moment again fun character don't expect this to be meta but if you're looking to find ways to make your clone trooper team work this seems to be the way and i'm guessing this was the marquee character that they pushed uh, back a month it originally looked like they were maybe planning on putting her out in uh in may but now they're pushing it to june so i would suspect in case you're curious most likely marquee event not a legendary of any sort so marquee event so you're probably gonna get this character 
three stars and whatnot. And if you want to get her to seven stars, you got to pay the money to get her all the way to seven stars. But she looks like she's going to be very helpful because in territory battles right now, uh, a lot of the Clone Wars era stuff, all the Clone Wars era content is lacking. And I can almost assure you there's probably going to be a Galactic Republic nodes uh, for territory battles or clone trooper battles. And it looks like Shock T is going to be helpful to make sure your clones can make it. Because I don't think without Shock T, clones are going to be that viable in their current state. Unless they get a rework. Let's hope they get a rework of some sort. I really hope they bring some love to these other clone troopers. Rex, Cody, Fives, Clone Sergeant, and Echo. They should get some sort of rework so you don't need Shock T to participate. But this might be a way of uh, how to monetize the territory battles. Maybe just have clone troopers be only good with Shock T. But hopefully, they kind of take this team a little bit farther with complete rework for each of these characters. So you could use the Commander Cody lead. Because a lot of people have the Zeta on this character, but really it's not that good uh, unless you want a really outdated AAT team. So there's a lot of stuff they could be doing for these clones to make them even better. And I hope that Territory Battles brings new clones potentially as well to kind of bolster upon this faction. Because the good thing about clone troopers, you can make so many of them and still there's always room for more. But that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think down below of the beloved Shock T. Are you excited? I'm glad one of the things we speculated about coming uh, up, up with the, all this Clone Wars content was going to be Shock T. And it looks like that dream did come true. Comment down below, like the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And we'll talk again in the next video. Peace out, guys. Yeah. Party Richter, Party Richter. Get down, down.